Hi guys, this is Evan. Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about Laplace statement. Before you click away, please stick with me for a few minutes. I promise this is going to be really interesting. And I will speak quickly, so I won't waste your time. Okay, have you ever wondered if everything in life is predetermined, like you were destined to click on this video and you were meant to watch it all the way through? But think bigger. What if? Um, falling in love with someone, uh, getting your dream job, becoming wealthy, was all meant to be. Today we are going to explore a Laplace statement, a thought experiment that questions if our actions are truly free or if everything is already set in stone. Okay, let's get started. So, what is Laplace statement? Well, Laplace statement is a thought experiment by the French mathematician Pierre Simon Laplace from the early 19th century, and he imagined a super intelligent being, which he called the demon, that knows the exact position and the moment of every atom in the universe at any moment. If this demon also knew all the laws of nature, it could predict everything that will ever happen. Let's say in the world of uh, Newtonian physics, this idea makes sense. Newton's law tells us that if we know the starting condition of a system, like where everything is and how fast it's moving, we can calculate exactly what will happen next. Everything will be predictable. For example, think about throwing a ball. Um, if we know how fast it's going, the angle is thrown, and all the forces like gravity and air resistance, we can predict exactly where and when this ball will land. So this is because in uh, the classic mechanics, once we know the starting point, the result is uncertain. However, uh, modern physics has thrown a curveball at this idea of determinism. Um, one big challenge comes from quantum mechanics, especially Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. This principle says we cannot know both the exact position and momentum of a particle at the same time. The more we know about the one and the less we know about the other. This means that at the most fundamental level, this universe is not entirely predictable. Another challenge comes from chaos theory. Even if in uh, the classic physics, some systems are super sensitive to their starting conditions. These are called chaotic systems. For example, like uh, the butterfly effect. A tiny change like the flap of a butterfly's wings could lead to a huge differences in outcomes. So even if a system is technically deterministic, but in practice, it will be uh, impossible to predict. So what's my point? Well, personally, I think we can use determinism as motivation. If we believe that our efforts could lead to uh, certain outcomes, it can push us to work harder and aim higher. It's like believing that the success is out there waiting for us, but we still have to reach for it. So this is our second episode of the four great beasts of physics. We were really introduced Xenos Todos and this one, the, the Laplace demon, and there are other two to go, the Maxwell demon and the Schrodinger's cat. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. And comment below to let us know what you think about determinism and the free will. See you in the next video. Bye bye.